Xin chào các bạn. Đây là Thu Hà. Hello everyone. This is Thu Hà and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to pronounce pho in Vietnamese. And in order to pronounce the word pho, first of all, you must be able to pronounce each of the letters within the word pho. And to pronounce pho, you pronounce the PH first. This is pho. 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 And the next one is a. Pho. Pho. A. And together is pho. Pho. And you add in the mark. Pho. A. Pho. Hỏi. Pho. Pho. A. Pho. Hỏi. Pho. Now you're able to pronounce the word pho. Pho. A. Pho. Hỏi. Pho. That was easy. This one we call it Yo Hỏi. Pho. Pho. A. Pho. Hỏi. Pho. And that's how you pronounce pho in Vietnamese. There are different types of pho in Vietnamese and I want to help you to be able to learn how to pronounce different types of pho in Vietnamese. The first one, it is pho tái. Pho tái. Pho tái. It is the rare steak pho. There are different types of pho and pho tái is the rare steak. You pronounce pho and then you pronounce tái. Tái is the. This is the. And this is I. And together is tai, the, I, tai, sắc tai, tai, phở, tai, phở, tai, the, I, tai, together is tai, tai means ears in Vietnamese, and you add this is yo, yo sắc. Yo sắc Tờ ai tai Sắc Tai Phở tai It is the rare steak phở Phở tai And the next one that I want to teach you It is called Phở Bò Viên Phở bò viên it is the meat ball pho. Pho bò viên. And to pronounce bò, you pronounce bơ. And this is o. Bơ o bò. Bơ o bò huyên bò. To pronounce the word bò, you pronounce B, A, and together is B, add in Yo Huyen. Yo Huyen, and you have B. B, A, together is B, Huyen, B. B, A, B, Huyen, B. Bò, bò means cow in Vietnamese and vin in order for you to pronounce vin you will pronounce v v and this is e e n in this is in v in vin v E A N N V N V N. So you pronounce the V here, and you pronounce the N here, and you add the V and the N together, and you have V N V N V N. Phở bò V N. 
and Vin is referring to the balls, to the round balls. Pho ball Vin, it is the meatball pho. Now, the next one that I want to teach you, it is called Pho Pho Ga. Pho Ga is the chicken Pho. Ga means chicken. Ga, and to pronounce Pho Ga, you pronounce Go. This is Go. This is A. Ga together. This too is Ga. And we add in dấu huyền gà. Gờ a gà huyền gà. Phở gà. Phở gà is the chicken phở. The next one it is pho tôm. If you want the shrimp ones, then you say pho tôm. Tôm is shrimps. The o m om om the om tôm the om tôm. Tôm is shrimp pho tôm, shrimp pho. The next one, it is called pho đặc biệt. Pho đặc biệt, it is the special pho. And đặc biệt, đặc, đờ, this is đờ. À, À, cờ, ác, à, cờ, ác, đờ, ác, đắc, nặng, đặc. So here, you will have đặc. À, cờ, ác, đờ, ác, đắc, nặng, đặc. And this one is dấu, dấu nặng. Dấu nặng, đờ ác đắc, nặng đặc, đặc. And this is bit, bờ, this is bờ. Y, e, tờ, and this is it. You add in bờ. Y, e, tờ, it, bờ. E e tờ it b it biết biết nặng biệt e e tờ it b it biết nặng biệt e e tờ it b it biết nặng biệt biệt phở đặc biệt e e tờ it b it biết nặng biệt phở đặc biệt phở đặc biệt Pho đặc biệt, it is the special pho. The next one, it is pho chay. Pho chay is the vegetarian pho. Pho chay. Chay is chờ. And this is ai, chai, chờ ai, chai, phở, chai, vegetarian phở, phở chai. And the type of phở that I normally order at restaurant, it is phở, tai, sắt. Bò viên. I have to have all of this for me to really taste the food that it is good to me. 
and I cannot miss any of this phở tái sắc bào viên. And we already learned tái, tái is the rare steak, bào viên is the meatball, and sắc it is the beef tribe. Usually I don't think foreigners would like the tripe since it is very chewy, it has a very chewy texture and it tastes to some people like rubber. In the past I had invited my American friends to eat pho and they did not like the sub, the beef tripe since it's too chewy for them. So I suggest if you're eating pho for the first time, you can just order pho thai. That is the rare um, steak pho. And if you like the meatball, you can add in pho thai, bò viên. Now, if you want to explore further, you can order pho đặc biệt, special pho. And you have everything. You can pick and choose what you like, what you don't like. And eventually you'll figure out what type of pho you like. Pho tai sắc bò viên. This is what I order when I go to a Vietnamese restaurant. I must have this. And sắc sơ a chờ ắt sơ ắt sắc sơ ắt sắc 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 Pho tai sắc bò viên. Pho tai sắc bò viên. Now, if you don't want the onions in your pho, what you can say is pho không hành. Pho không hành means the pho that doesn't have onions in it, meaning that you don't want onions in your pho. Then you say pho không hành. Không means no. Hành means onions. Pho không hành. Hành. Không khờ, ô, ô, ngờ, ông, khờ, ông, không. In order to pronounce the word không, you say khờ, this is khờ, this one alone is ô, this together, this and G is ngờ, ô, ngờ, ông, Khờ, ông không. So you add in the pronunciation of khờ and the ông, and then you have không. And you have han, han is hờ. The H is hờ, a, nhờ, this is nhờ, and this is an, hờ, an, and this is han. Huyên hành A nhờ anh Hờ anh hành Huyền hành Phở không hành Means the phở that doesn't have onions in it Now when you go to a Vietnamese restaurant You order phở If you go to Vietnam you order phở Normally they give you the same size Everybody have same size No matter uh, who comes in and eat it if you want another bowl of pho, then you just order another bowl of pho. The bowl of pho will be the same size in Vietnam. However, when you order food in America, you go to a restaurant. Now you want to order different size of pho. If you don't want to eat too much, you order a small bowl. If you want to eat a lot, then you order the large size. So I want to help you to pronounce or to say the size of the bowl of pho in Vietnamese. There are different size, depends on the restaurants. So the typical ones is small, this medium size of bowl of pho, and then there's large. And we say tô, tô means bowl. Tô, tơ. O, tô, tô. To say small, you say nhỏ, nhỏ, nhớ, o, nhỏ, nhỏ means grape, nhỏ, nhớ, o, nhỏ, hỏi nhỏ, nhỏ, tô nhỏ means small bowl.
Nyao means small. And if you want a medium bowl, then you can say to the waiter, Do wu. Do wu. Va. U. Va. Va. U. Va. Huyen va. Va. Do va. In America, if you order pho, you go to a pho restaurant. If you want to order medium pho, size of pho, then you can just say to medium. They still understand you. To ve. And then large is to lớn. To lớn. Lớn. Lớ. Ơ. Nờ ơn. Ơn. Lờ. Ơn. Lớn. Sắc lớn. Tô lớn means the large size. And if you want the biggest size that they have at their restaurant, um, you will say tô xe, tô xe lửa. Tô xe lửa is the largest size that they have. It's the biggest bowl of pho there. It is the extra large size of pho. So do means bow, do, right? Do means bow. And xe lửa means train. Do xe lửa. Tờ ô tô xe. E xe lửa. L. Ư. L. Ư. L. Ư. Lửa. L. Ư. Lửa. Hỏi lửa. Tô xe lửa, and this is dấu hỏi. Tô xe lửa, tô xe lửa, it is the largest size of the pho that they have at their restaurants. And it is the actual large size. And tô xe lửa, usually it is very big, it's like a gigantic bowl. Depends on the restaurant, some restaurant the bowl is a little bit bigger or much bigger compared to some. So now you have learned a lot today of how to say pho and as well as how to say different type of pho in Vietnamese. I hope that the information I provided to you today is helpful to you. If you do like my channels and the videos that I provided, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye now. Tạm biệt. Tạm biệt các bạn.